Good morning, Friday, 24th of February. Bitcoin update with a bit of a contrary view uh, between Bitcoin and Ether. Mm, I was yet bullish yesterday after that this bounce. Yeah, um, Wednesday night we came down. Uh, I shorted that move, then I went long on Ether. Um, but yeah, look at this price action here in the past hours. This is. Uh, wicks to both sides. It's a lot of uh, sideways movement. You can see it on the one hour. Mm, you you could say we have a kind of pennant here, and feels like it's going to break down, and that Bitcoin is going to make this move, an ABC take out this low. I talked about that low earlier in the week uh, when we were here. I was looking for that move, didn't happen. We went up a bit and, and came down. And, and now it looks like, uh, it, it feels like bulls are, are trying to defend the, this line. Um, but you can ask yourself how long that is gonna happen. I always say um, a support is like a, a brick wall. And if you uh, slam to it with a hammer, the more often you uh, slam the wall, the weaker it gets and that is also what what this feels to me um reason to be bullish uh, was because ether already made that move that a b c taking out that low this was a perfect a b c break um, of a, a bounce from that uh, green box break out of structure and yeah this looks this looks corrective but maybe even make this move, but not going anymore for that, that uh, new low. Uh, and maybe just doing this before going up, uh, making a bull flag here, where Bitcoin uh, uh, does look more like this is breaking down and then going for 22.9 more or less. And then take out this low. So uh, I was a bit more bullish on, uh, I was bullish yesterday because of Ether, but because of this sideways action the past uh, 24 hours um, um, and, and no continuation, you could also say we have quite a few of, of rejections at, uh, at supply zones. Let me see if this indicator shows you some. No, why not? Well, what I wanted to show you is this. Um, you could see rejections every time here, this supply zone, this supply zone, and this not really, but here on the lower time frame also, you look. Um, and these spikes every time uh, being pushed down again, makes me believe that we uh, see that move to 22,900 before I may finally get my move higher and breaking that previous top at 25,200 more or less. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my videos this week. If so, please give a like, a follow and um, hope to see you next week. Have a nice weekend.